Hello and hey. welcome back to 1001 Beers, you must try before you die. We are on a boat. So we are. We are plank. on a boat. We are we, actually we are, on a boat. We are on the but plank. A, but a stationary boat. It's called the plank. It's List, listing dangerously to starboard. Yep, so we're in, it's a, a bar which is a boat uh, in Ghent. It's wonderful. Very, very Sits awesome. in the river and we've managed to find three different beers from the book. Which is lovely. So we're going to review all three of them. Um, yep. First one up is first brewed circa late 1990s. That's bizarre they don't have the actual date. Yeah. So that's not that long ago. But anyway, 7.3% and it is Petrus Aged Pale. And we have it here and we have, as we have all the other Belgian beers, the, glass. Yeah, the correct glass. Yeah. Yeah. So I have Sequoia here with me, as usual. Hey. Uh, would you like to read tasting notes while I uh, pour of this? Of course. So while, while you do the beer pour, um, tasting notes. Vinous woody nose, which is joined by lemony and green apple notes. There is a very discernible wood character Ooh, in the sorry. taste. Long wooden notes and alcohol warmth in the finish. And here we go. So we're drinking in plank and we got woody notes. Here we go. Um, I think it smells lovely. Oh, it does. Really nice. Mm. If that tastes as good as it we're smells, going. we're on for a winner. We're going for the taste. Mm. Cheers. Yeah, do it. Really nice. Oh, right. Really, really yeah, nice. Right. So I'm looking at it. There's a huge amount of carbonation coming out the bottom of that glass. There. Look at that. That's coming in waves. Yeah, that is. I don't know if you can really see it on the video. You probably can't. It's huge amounts of carbonation. I was, I was expecting the pale ale and it's slightly sour and it's really nice. Oh, that's good. Yeah, isn't it good? Mmm. I can see what they. Okay, so. I can definitely see the it's very the, the, green, the lemony green, green apple nose taste, and the wood. Actually, that's yeah, a great very description. Much so, yeah. A lot of the descriptions, you know, sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. This is, I think, out of all the, I've reviewed a good few beers with you, Jimmy, mm. on this book. This is really. That's nice. one where the taste in those is absolutely yeah, bang on. It's very much green apple, isn't it? Mm. It's it's um it's. It's just aged pale. It's almost like a good. It doesn't taste aged at all. It's, 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 sort, of, it's, it's, a, it's a sort of it's a It's just aged pale, like it's going to be this rich mahogany mm. type beer, but it tastes super fresh. Yeah. Super crisp. It, it's not even vague like you might think it's going to no, be. Not I thought it was going to be quite a claggy old beer, but it's very, very, that's, very. That's light. what I was afraid of. Um, this is let's get the let's get the brand again. Yeah, that is really quite nice. It's it's a. It's beyond, you know, I'm tempted to say, oh, it's, a it's a lovely palate cleanser. It's beyond a palate cleanser. That's got yeah. a whole life of its own. I'm going to get, I'm going to get, so I'm going to ask Phil and Sandy who are behind us here out of you to try this and see what they think. And I think this is a flipping lovely beer. And I want to yep. see what we, I think you'll both like this. We need to do a little bit of No, we're going to entertain it. Let's see what Phil says. So, Phil, what do you think? The video is running, Phil. Come on. It smells like it goes. It doesn't. It's got that sort of tartness to it, but it's not got the whole picture of that. So it wasn't what I was expecting at all from the description. Do you like it? Yes, I'm drinking that one. Sandy, I like it, but it's a little bit tart. Not too tart. That's fair enough. Well, I think that's. It didn't make Sandy make the girls face, which is no. always always good. We've so had we've had that a couple of times this summer day. It's a face to behold. It was. It would send the natives fleeing if you turn that up on the big banner. That is really nice. <laughs> that, it's so smooth. It's not too tart. That's an absolute corker. Yeah, so, so far this holiday, I mean, I've, I've tried to cut the girls before I come uh, out on the holiday, and I've quite enjoyed them. I've really got into them this holiday. Obviously, this isn't the girls, but I'm definitely looking out for this one again. It is of the this. kind of sour so song. It doesn't say it's, a, it's, it's all sour, but it is... Has got the lemony and green apple notes very mm. much so. I wouldn't say it's much wood, but I'll say there's wood. There's definitely wood. And I wouldn't say there's any alcohol in it. I think well, it's it's, it's I've got, so crisp. Don't know about you, mate, but I've got wood drinking that. <sighs> That's true, truly awful. Have you got a little bit of tumbleweed? Yeah. I'm just throwing peanut across. <laughs> Yeah, uh, thanks, Peanut Gallery. Um, <laughs> um, I think, should we leave this one here, put it aside, and we can try some other ones and then enjoy the whole range them together. So I'm going to put the Petrus Age Pal aside. Oh, but that, was, that was flipping lovely. I'm going to have longing really, eyes on that for the really next Really, really good. So longing gonna, eyes on that for yeah, the next we're gonna beer. Now, And the next two beers we've got are actually both Lambic beers. So they'll be Ooh, uh, going very much Lambic. Uh, you spoiled me. This is, this is Ferrero Rocher in beer form. Yeah, so you're really spoiling me, Ambassador, mm. Mr. Belgian Ambassador. <laughs> Uh, so like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you for another review very, very soon.